Recently, my boyfriend Dylan and I got a little hamster and our package was delayed in the mail. It was supposed to come through a Pudo locker, which we were so excited to experience, but arrived this morning a few days later than we expected. So we have our little hamster, uh, which was a bit unexpected. And we've got our enclosure that arrived a few days ago in the mail. bring through the package and I'm gonna shuffle through and show you what we got and then a little bit later this afternoon we're gonna set up the enclosure for our little hamster. Stay tuned to find out what her name is. She's a little little girl hamster. That's <laughs> massive. Sure this is heavy. Voila. Voila. Sure. There's a lot of things in here. We decided to go for quite a naturalistic enclosure, so I wanted a few different substrates, oops, a few different substrates to fill the enclosure. So we've got our chipsy, extra soft digging substrate for the hamster. That's bothering me. <laughs> Let me mention, everything that we've got in this haul is from Kerry's custom cabin. She's been incredible. So if you're looking to get a hamster and you want to get things for your hamster that are natural and good for them, and unlike the pet stores, definitely consider going through her. Um, if you find that some of the stuff might be a bit expensive, there is an option to pay over two months um, and sometimes even over three months if uh, if you're doing one of the startup packs. So definitely try and consider going through her because her stuff is amazing. This is the um, Hammy Food commercial food mix, which is great. It's got a few little bits and bobs in it. We've got our potty sand. So. As you know, we've got our ha we've had a hamster for a few days now, so we kind of understand what she likes and what she doesn't like. And what she absolutely loves is her little potty box, her little potty box, so little sand bath. I'm just trying to see if I can find her little potty box. Oh, this is so cute! I don't know what it is. That is amazing because I was actually looking for the potty box to show you but I'll show you just now when I get to it in the box. We're looking for proper food bowls because our hamster is currently eating out of uh, pet store plastic ones which is not ideal. So I see we have a cute little present in here. Let's see if I can just rip it open. Okay, I'm gonna need a pair of scissors. Can I get my scissors, please? Look, she gave us something special in the parcel. What's that? I think it's a food bowl, a ceramic food bowl, which is what I was what looking for. What you wanted. So, I was gonna order one online, so I'm really glad that we've gotten it as a gift. It's like, um, Heavily, deep, heavily guarded by plastic. That's, That's so cool. Look how cute. Do you want to zoom in? Yeah. I love that. That's so cute. It looks like a little bunny rabbit, but also a cute. Say it's a hamster. I think it could be a. Look at the little cheeks. Little heart cheeks. Yeah, that's definitely a hamster. You think so? I think so. Comment below if you think this is a hamster or a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> we also have this um, coconut hide, which I wasn't sure if she was going to include. Um, oh, this like proper natural. Yeah, this is going to go in, we're going to have like quite a thick cocoa peat layer and then it's just going to sit in there so that our little hamster can hide in there. So I'm very stoked about that. I wasn't sure. <laughs> it wasn't on the invoice, so I think 
a lot of the stuff that uh, we received is actually gifted, which is incredible. Um, so we're very excited. This is Cocoa Pete. It's nice and soft. Um, and we're going to put that behind a little bendy bridge that we also got. Because we've got our Chipsy and we've got our Cocoa Pete and then we've got our paper bedding. So this is going to be in between the Chipsy and the Cocoa Pete and I really wanted one of these so I'm really stoked that we could get this. This was like the last one she had at the time that we ordered so it was very very lucky. Um, we had a f we had been running through WhatsApp together on a few different ideas and what we wanted the enclosure to look like and what we needed so I'm really glad with the thing that we settled on and you guys will see that at the end of the video we're going to set up the enclosure and we're going to let our little hamster roam around in there you can see just how awesome it turns out these are the onesie shoes um, I was actually really intrigued to find out how small they'd be but this is so cute it's like a little miniature toothbrush then we've got our millet sprays. These we're going to kind of pop around the enclosure for our hamster to get her own seeds. Um, instead of it just being in a food bowl, she can actually explore that. This is the potty box that I was talking about. And this goes on top here. I think it goes this way. And the sand goes on the inside. This is the... <laughs> triphobia warning, I can't remember if it's triphobia. Um, the gel is a little log for the millet sprays to pop out of. And then we've got this, which is going to go at the bottom of the paper bedding um, for her to sit in and to hide out in. Dylan's in the kitchen getting snacks. <laughs> Am I calling you out? Yeah, you're calling me out. Okay, this is. What about these? Bolt on. We got bolt on. I don't actually remember what this is, so we'll find out now. Here's our little hideout. I think this goes at the back here. Yeah, this goes at the back here. Um, just in case we want to ever change it up, but this this is going to be great. So, no. I'm having a blonde moment. This goes in the front, so this is where the glass, this goes against the glass. That'll go on top. Oh, yes. Thanks, babe. No problem. <laughs> your assistance. This goes on top, so that uh, this is in the front where you can see the hamster hanging out and whatever, and we can put some foraging mix and bedding. Is there a hole there? Yeah, there's a hole here, so this goes into the back of the enclosure where the paper bedding is, and this goes out on the side. To go to the play area so this is really going to be great for us to be able to see yeah, our yeah. you all crinkly with your snack packets my angel he's got to show them what you've got play pretzels and some easter eggs <laughs> this is for the middle of the enclosure and this this whole lines up with the hideout with the peeping tunnel sorry Someone's idling their car outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Truck. Someone with their truck. Anyway, so this is a foraging mix. This is going to go and be spread out around the oh. enclosure for the hamster to explore. Someone's moving out with boxes everywhere. Ish. Not a fun time. So yeah, that's the haul. Thank you for sticking by. This is our... Other, these are the other steps. These are actually going through to the to this potty box. But yeah, we'll catch you at the enclosure.
this is our little Luna. This is her first time in the enclosure and as you can tell she absolutely loves her new treats. We have put in a few clips over here for you to enjoy the first time roaming around. a few days later and Luna is absolutely loving her new space. We did move a few things around um, just so that she can utilize the space a bit better. We felt a few of the things were not really in the right place. So look at her in her new sand jar. This is the sand that we originally had in her first enclosure. We put some new bedding on the right hand side of her enclosure for her to burrow through and we added the multi-chamber hide. And we put it on stilts so now she absolutely loves her space 